All right, prime factorization. Okay. Prime factorization is expressing a composite number as a product of its prime factors. Okay, now, there are two ways to two ways to do prime factorization. The first way is what the book teaches and that's the factor tree. Okay. The second way is the way I prefer for me to do it anyway and that's inverted division. Okay. I don't care which way you do it. Okay, I will do both methods for a lesson or two, and then I will just go to inverted division. Okay, because the whole point of either one of the methods is is to come up with a prime factorization of a number. So let's look at a number. Let's say I have 16. The number 16 can be prime factored because it's composite. If a number's not composite, it can't be prime factored. Okay? Now, prime factoring 16, if you're doing factor tree, we come up with two factors of 16. Two factors of 16 would be what, Celine? Two and eight. Two and eight. Okay? So what we're saying is two times eight equals 16. Now, 2 is prime, so there are no other factors of 2, okay? But there are factors of 8. What are two factors of 8, Colton? Do what? 2 times 4? Those are two factors of 8, the 2 being prime. So now I've got a factor 4. Jalen, 2 times 2. And both of those are prime. So now I stop. So the prime factorization of 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now, I'm going to take that and list it as 2 to the 4th power. Okay? So your answer to that is 2 to the 4th power. Yes, Lee. So it would be all the prime numbers? Like... It is the prime numbers that go into 16. Okay. Now, inverted division is a little bit different, but it accomplishes the same. So this is inverted division that I'm going to show you. Now, with inverted division, you're basically inverting the division bar. Okay, so a division bar looks like this, and I am just flipping it over. The other thing about inverted division is you must use 
prime numbers. Okay. Well, the first few prime numbers we've already talked about. Those are our first few prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. So it's real simple. I take the first prime number, 2. Does 2 go into 16? How many times? 8. Okay, now, does 2 go into 8? I just keep using 2 until it doesn't go in there anymore. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four twos. Two to the fourth power. Okay, so that's inverted division. Where people make mistakes with inverted division is they try to do it like factor tree. And they go, okay, well, four. That's four, okay, two, two. That You can't do that. You can't use a four out there because four is not prime. You can only use prime numbers, okay? As I stated, I will do examples in both ways to see so you can see which way that you would rather prefer to do it. Now, 2,500, we're going to prime factor... 2,500. Okay, now, factor tree, twenty five hundred, and then we're going to do inverted division for twenty five hundred. Okay. So, let's do factor tree. What is two factors of 2,500? Jesse. Okay, Owen. Okay, two and 1,250. Okay, two is prime. So I circle it. Now the book keeps bringing it down. In other words, the book keeps coming down, and they form this big, huge, you know, triangle. Uh, I don't. I don't. You can do that if you'd like. I don't really do that when I do the factor tree. Okay. Now, two factors of twelve hundred and fifty. Back. Does go, but five hundred. Oh, five thousand. No, five thousand. Crazy. Oh, and and yeah, two and six hundred and twenty-five. Okay, now we have to do the 625. Ooh. I know, I'm fixing to show you that. Hang on. Now, listen, listen. Here's where your rules of divisibility come in. Okay? It ends in a 5, so 2 doesn't go into it. So not even. But since it ends in a 5, 5 can go into it. Okay? And 5 goes into it 125 times. Now, 5 goes into it again because 5 is at the end. So that's 5, and that goes in 25 times. Then 5 goes into that 5 times. 
So your factor tree then, or your prime factorization, is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5, which is 2 to the 2nd times 5 to the 4th. Okay, you need to write it with exponents. Okay. Now, you could have done that a little bit easier with the factor tree doing this. 25 times 100. That would be there. And that is... 5 times 20, 4 times 5, 2 times 2. But that's a lot of stuff that you got to keep track of. Okay, now, inverted division was basically what we did here. Inverted division, you could start with 2, but I also can start with 5. Because 5 is prime. And I know 5 goes into it because it ends in a 0. 5 goes into that 500 times. 5 goes into that 100 times. 5 goes into that 20 times. 5 goes into 20 4 times. Okay, 5 no longer goes into 4, but 2 does. And so there you have four fives and two twos. And that's your answer. Okay. Now, let's look at another one. Going to prime factor 108. Factor tree and inverted division. Okay, so on factor tree, I need two factors of 108. Two numbers that you multiply together get 108. Selene? 9 times 12. 9 times 12? No, it's yes. Thank you. I was thinking, I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 9 times 12. I was thinking 7 times 12. All right. So, 9 times 12. Neither one of them are prime. So, i got to come up with two factors of 9, 3 and 3. I've got to come up with two factors of 12, 3 and 4, then 2 and 2, okay, and so that gives me, these are prime, so that gives me 2 to the second times 3 to the second. Now, inverted division is very simplistic. 2. 2 into 10 goes 5 times. 2 into 8 goes 4 times. It's even, so 2 goes into it again. 2 goes into 54 27 times. 2 doesn't go into 27, but 3 does. 3 goes into it 9 times. 3 goes into 9 3 times. Once I finish with a prime number, I stop. Okay, and so it is 2 to the 2nd times 3 to the 3rd. I missed this one over here. That should be 3rd. Okay, so both ways you come up with the same prime factorization. Please notice 
that the prime factorization has multiplication signs in it. So when I tell you to prime factor a number, don't prime factor it out and then multiply it together again because you're going to end up with the same number. Okay? Now, let's look at writing this. Let's see here. 3 times 3 times 7. I want you to write this using exponents. Okay, so what would the answer be writing that using exponents? Tristan? And 7? There you go. 3 to the second power times 7. Now, the reason it's 3 to the second is because I have two 3s. So that's where my exponent of 2 comes in. Okay. Um, what about this one? 6 times 6 times 6 times 7. We want to write that using exponents. Joshua. Yes. 6 to the third times 7. Okay. Now, let's look at this problem. 7 to the second times 8. It says, write as a product of powers, then evaluate. So, the first step, a product of powers, means this, 7 times 7 times 8. Product of factors, excuse me, that should say factors. That should say factors, not powers. Okay. Now we need to evaluate it. In other words, we must come up with the answer. So that's 7 times 7, which is 49, times 8. 49 times 8, 392. Okay, and that would be your answer. Now, Here's one that some people think is tough, but it's really not. 8 to the second power times 10 to the fourth power. Okay. Now, 8 to the second means 8 times 8 times 10. Okay. Now, 8 times 8, 64. Now, I have 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 10,000. So then that just becomes... All right, now, I want a prime factor 1,440. Okay, now, for that, if I invert division it, I'm going to do that first. 
Okay, well then I just start out once again with 2. 2 into 14 goes 7 times. 2 into 4 goes 2 times. 2 into 0 goes 0 times. Now I do 2 again. 2 into 7 goes 3 times with a remainder of 1. 2 into 12 goes 6 times. 2 into 0 goes 0 times. 2 into 360 goes 180 times. 2 into 180 goes 90 times. 2 into 90 goes 45 times. Quit doing that. 5 into 45, 9 times. 3 into 9, 3 times. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos. So, 2 to the 5th times 3 to the 2nd times 5. And that is your prime factorization of 1,440. Now, if I do it the factor tree method, if I do it the factor tree method, we go 10 times 144. Okay, obviously there's more factors than just those two. Then you go 2 times 5. 144 is 12 times 12. Those are primed there. So now I do 12. 3 times 4. 12. 3 times 4. Those are prime. Then I factor 4. 2 and 2. 2 and 2. Those are all prime. Okay, so you still get 2 to the 5th times 3 to the 2nd times 5. Okay, now what I suggest people do is this. For those of you who have done factor trees for a long time, keep doing factor trees. Okay? But when you get to harder numbers, larger numbers, it may be easier for you to do the inverted division. For example, 428. Okay? Well, for you to sit there and figure out, you know, okay, what are the factors of 428? You're going to sit there and waste time trying to come up with the first two factors. Okay? But if we're doing 428... Just use the inverted division. Start with 2. 2 goes into 4 two times. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 8 four times. Then do 2. Again, 2 into 2 once. 2 into 1, 0. 2 into 14, 7 times. Okay? Well, now I know 2 doesn't go into it. Okay? So now I've got to start thinking. 1 plus 7 is 8. 3 doesn't go into it. 4 doesn't go into 0, 7. In other words, 4 doesn't go into that. Or excuse me, 5 doesn't go into it. 7. 7 doesn't go into it. Okay, my next prime number is 11. 11 doesn't go into it. My next prime number is 13. This one may have something. 13 would be 130. Drop it back would be 117, so no, it doesn't either. Okay? So pretty much, I can assume that's prime. So 2 to the second times 107. That would be your prime factorization of that number. Okay? Because you're going to run into some that are pretty difficult, pretty long. Okay? 
So if you just sit there and waste five minutes trying to come up with two, two factors, just start with two or three and go in, go after it, okay? So on the smaller ones, use factor tree. Larger ones, use inverted division. I personally just like inverted division. It always works. I don't have to think of factors. I can just start and go, okay? Just like the one we did, the 2,500. You know, Owen was coming up with those, came up with those first two factors, and basically, you de basically without us knowing it, right here, you did inverted division. I just started with five instead of two. Okay, so like I said, either way, you're going to come up with the same answer if you do the math right. Okay, which way you use is totally up to you. If you want to use both, use both. Um, but like I said, in the future, I will be using inverted division. Okay? When we start talking about greatest common factors, least common multiples, you know, all those things are going to enter into it. All right? Now, your homework. Your homework is 3.3. .3. One through thirty two. Okay, one through thirty two. All right, we got only a couple minutes left, so you can start packing up and get ready to go.